Hello, uh, my name is Alam Ahmed and I'm the founder of Sudan Knowledge, which is a, a global network. Uh, we have founded in 2008 with the help and contribution of many people, Sudanese and non-Sudanese across the world. Uh, the ambitions and the dream, which since I was a child, to try to help Sudan and other countries in Africa and in the developing world about using and utilizing knowledge for sustainable development. It took me quite a long time until 2008 when we came together at Brighton at the Science Technology Policy Research Unit, which kindly supported the launch of the event in 2009. Also, we involved people from UNESCO, Dr. Tay Mustafa, who is currently the president of the Future University in Sudan, Professor Ahmed Haj Hassan from the Said Wellit Academy of Science and in Italy, and many other partners. The idea of Sudan Knowledge is to bring every possible knowledge available about Sudan and other developing countries into one platform. The problem at the time we're trying to solve, and we still want to solve, there's so many people, experts, professionals, Sudanese and non-Sudanese, scattered across the whole world, in the Middle East, in Africa, in America, in Australia, everywhere. They all have contributed to the body of knowledge in their work, whether they are academics, engineers, doctors, social science, legal uh, experts, and so on and so forth. But there isn't, uh, or there has never been a platform which brings them all together. So the idea of Sudan knowledge as a platform to bring people together to share their expertise, knowledge, was what we're trying to achieve here. I will shortly showing you, uh, show you the website, how it works, and uh, we would like you to contribute. But let me just tell you a few things important about this platform. Number one, Sudan knowledge is part of a research project I have been involved with, which is about the role of diaspora which is the people living out of their homelands, like from myself, I'm a Sudanese originally, but I lived in the UK, I'm still living in the UK, I'm a British citizen plus my original Sudanese citizenship. How those diaspora can help and contribute to the sustainable development of their own countries. So it's not a political uh, organization, it's not ideologically relating to any group or ethnicity or particular uh, political party or governments is completely part of a research project we started at the University of Sussex, which has been very successful and well received by many international organizations and they like what we do. So we have lots of, uh, in this platform we have been doing uh, conferences, as you will see shortly in, my, uh, in the website. We started in 2009, bringing people from different backgrounds, and then in 2015, and in 2016 this year, and then we would, we, our fourth conference will be next year in 2017. We also have a database to bring together all expertise, and also you can see in the database, you can search the experts or the knowledge uh, experts from all over the world, Sudanese and non-Sudanese. Either you search about them by their names, or you can search about them by their discipline. For example, somebody who is an engineer or a doctor or a social scientist. Or you can search about them about the countries where they are based. So you can search about people living in the UK, France, Saudi Arabia, uh, Brazil. Or you can search about them by their disciplines. Or you can search actually by the city where they are living in. Or you can do a combination of both. So you can say, I am looking for an expert in, say, in pediatrics who is residing in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So this is a, this is a platform will help you to identify those people. Why are we doing this? Because we want people to know each other, number one, so they can actually cooperate, they can actually do joint work, they can actually join their efforts to help their countries. The second thing we also do, and it has been a very successful venture, which is the journal. And I'm very pleased to say it is the first international journal about Sudan, which is called International Journal of Sudan Research, and it's a very multidisciplinary journal where you can see research on all fields, medical, agriculture, veterinary science, uh, social science, mathematics, all of it coming together and there is a one umbrella which is this journal, 
And so far we have been publishing for five years and it's becoming very popular even for non-Sudanese to publish in this journal. It's highly regarded and respected among academic peers. We also have a database uh, or we have an, a, a library where you can actually access documents. The good thing about this network is completely free. You don't need even to have a password to access or download anything. We also have a big library of all the videos of the lectures, conferences, meetings we have, and it's available in the YouTube. Our aim is that anyone, student, particularly the young generations, academic staff, anywhere in Sudan and outside Sudan, is simply to download, to use these lectures, to use these videos, to use these uh, books, to use these journals, and also to engage with us. All the experts on this platform, you can actually contact them directly to help you. You don't need to come to us. You can find there a form saying you contact the expert and you just contact him or her and then they will get back to you. You can ask them to help you with anything, writing your research proposal, looking for advice. You want them to come to you in Sudan and give you some lectures or give you some technical help, whatever you like. So it's, it's completely informal platform where you can access it. Now, what we really want people from across the whole world, it's Sudanese and non-Sudanese, is to come to this website and for yourself you can see how easy and friendly it is to use and just upload your information and your information will be there for people to know about you, to know about your work. And the beauty is you can link anything you like, your Facebook page, you can LinkedIn group page, you can add any video you have at your, under your umbrella that people can actually search about anything they want. We have been involved with many projects We travel to Sudan, not only me, but anyone. It's very informal. And I really hope and wish every one of you can actually take a few minutes to browse the website and to try to use it as much as he or she or they can and share it with your students, with your colleagues, with your friends, anywhere you are in the world. But most importantly, we want you to contribute because this is not my website or it's not my platform, it's your platform. And we would like you to contribute. So you can actually contribute by uploading your information, uploading your books, your journals, uploading your videos to our YouTube channels. Do whatever you like, but we would like people to contribute and also to engage with us how we can take this initiative forward. Particularly young and the youth, the young and the youth, we are very keen on listening and, uh, and, and, and working very closely with our young generations who are the future of, the, of our sustainable development strategies and policies, not only in Sudan, but in the whole developing countries, we would like them to come forward and actually take a lead in this initiative. Thank you very much.